Tenth is the you can school, right? You can school starts on the tenth. Okay. Okay. Dinner, of course. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu akbar Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar Allah. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول يا على الصلاة يا على الصلاة يا 
حيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح الله أكبر إن الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل الله ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد قال الله تعالى في الكتاب الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذين تبوأوا الدار والإيمان من قبلهم يحبون من هاجر إليهم ولا يجدون في صدورهم حاجة مما أوتوا ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصة ومن يكشح نفسه فأولئك هم المفلحون والذين جاءوا من بعدهم يقولون ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبكون بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم صدق الله العظيم Dear brothers and sisters the subject of today's khutbah will be maintaining a model brother of brotherhood based on the Quranic teachings. And brotherhood, when we talk about brotherhood, it seems so loose and, uh, you know, it's so easy to say, let's be brothers, let's be sisters, let's treat each other. But let's, I want to come from the approach of diving deep into some of the Quran ayats that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the guidance and the seerah, the life of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa which really, when we look at these examples, will really help us redirect where we really should be, all of us as a community, as a Muslim community. The ayats that we read were from Surah Hashar, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which can be roughly translated, and for those who had homes uh, before them, وَالَّذِينَ تَبَّوَّ وَالْدَارَ وَالْإِيمَانَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ And they had the iman, the faith, يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ حَاجَرَ إِلَيْهِمْ they love those who, the muhajirin, those who, uh, you know, we talk about the muhajirin and the ansar, right? Those who left their homes, they love them. Yuhibbuna man hajar ilayhim wa la yajiduna fi sudurihim hajatan. And you will not find inside of their hearts any uh, need, hajatan uh, mimma uh, utu, of what they have been given. Uh, they preferred them above themselves even though poverty was their lot. And those who are saved from the cafetuousness, that greed of their souls, they are the ones who are going to succeed. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to the, the du'as they make. The du'as, is, or if you want to look at a true reflection of brotherhood, it's that du'a you make for others that those who, that preceded you in faith, and that Allah leave from you any resentment towards each other, gilla lil any type of hate towards each other without translating the whole passage. And this was such a beautiful model that we had during Prophet Wasallam's time that we need to see and reflect how much we can adopt it, how much we can reflect it, Especially in our communities here in, in America, in Nashville, the place we can reflect it best 
is inside the masajids. It's in the, the place we're sitting today. So, let's, let's dive also for the first ayah. The ayah that I meant to start out with before this is from Surah Hujurat. Allah, if you want to know about a community, building a community, the ingredients to having a successful community, read, memorize Surah Hujurat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَ أَخَوَيْكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ The brotherhood, this brotherhood, إِنَّمَا uh, الْمُؤْمِنُونَ uh, is but what the believers are but one brother brotherhood so make reconciliation make things straight good good relationships amongst yourselves amongst your brothers and fear Allah in order that you may have mercy so when we talk about brotherhood it is it the Muslims the believers are to be of one brotherhood and in this brotherhood in their relationships, let's not forget that shaitan tries to come and break it up. And so right away, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the, you know, the Arabic letter fa. Immediately, make, make, make islah amongst your brothers. There is going to be problems. Whatever that relationship is amongst the Muslim community, there will be problems within your own family. That's, that's a little community in itself. That family relationships have to be fixed. The relationships within the masajids have to be fixed. Within your brothers and sisters, we have to work towards that. It's not a, any given taken that, you know, we're Muslims and everything's rosy and beautiful. But if we work hard towards this relationship, you know, we are the model here. And we need to work towards it. Just like how did that, uh, that example of, of the Muhajirin and the Ansar where they were sharing their homes, where they preferred others amongst themselves, where, where they didn't look out for their own, you know, greed. You know, when we have newcomers come to, like Nashville, we've had for decades, you know, been here forever. One after another, you had the Kurdish coming in the 90s, you had the Somalians, not to say there weren't some before that, but in, in droves, you had, uh, you know, just throughout these last 30, 40 years, and then recently the Afghan. You know, a lot of times with uh, the sentiments that, that stem to these biases, the hate towards Muslims and people who are of the immigrant community, it's that fear, oh, they're going to take away our jobs. You know, they're, they're getting preferential treatment. They're getting some stipends. But look, at this isn't our attitudes. Our attitudes are based on the attitudes we, we learned from the Quran, the attitudes we saw in the Sahabas, that they didn't fear that, oh, these guys, the Muhajireens, are going to take away our jobs. In fact, they just did the opposite. They shared their homes. They shared their resources. And these are the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised and talked about. So we have to remember this. We shouldn't ever fall into the trap that whatever that situation is, you know, when we're at work, the newcomer comes in. Or we're in a team, the new rookie comes in, like the quarterback. He's going to take my job eventually. That's not our attitudes. Our attitudes of, is one of sharing, giving, brotherhood. And that's what attracts people. The Muslim community, those who take shahada, so many take. But you know, there's a study in Illinois that 40% who took shahada went back, left. So they can see the first stage of taking shahada, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the welcoming, the takbir, the embracing. But then after one week, two weeks, three weeks, where is that brotherhood? Where is that sisterhood? They, we have to model it in our masajids. We have to reach out and welcome. We have to pair up with the newcomers. When someone comes to the masjid, so I'm gonna give, I know we have a short time, 10 more minutes to complete the khutbah or so till we do the uh, salat. So let me give you some of, some suggestions, recommendations, uh, based on the teaching, beautiful teachings we have. Uh, first of all, we need to know each other and, and engage with what our duties are as a Muslim to one another. Knowing each other, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah uh, Hujurat, again, such a beautiful surah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem, bismillahi rahmani rahim. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqanakum min dhakarin wa untha. 
من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا O mankind, we created you into nations and tribes and made you into, uh, sorry, O mankind, we created you from a single male and female and made you into nations and tribes so that you get to know one another. So that you get to know one another. So the purpose, you know, we have our diversity. We come, in this masjid, it's such a beautiful scene. We have people from all walks of life. We have diversity in race, from ethnicity, you know, socioeconomic diversity. What is this? This masjid is a place that provides that opportunity to step out of our comfort zone and learn about someone who's different. And that's the true brotherhood. And that's how we, when we get to meet each other, we know about each other, then when someone is sick, we visit them. Someone is ill, someone passed away, someone is in need. It all stems from these masajids. In America, we have no other place as a gathering like we do here in the masjids. And this is the place where we can really be uh, an embodiment of this true brotherhood, that when anyone sees it, they'll want to be in that fraternity. You know, in colleges, you have fraternities, fr sororities, right? People just want to belong, feel a sense of belongingness. This masjid is the best place we can do it, but we have to watch out for the traps of shaitan, that he'll try to separate us. So, you know, getting to know each other, that means give salam. And what did Prophet ﷺ say? I don't have this written down, but to the effect, you will not, uh, not enter paradise until you have iman. And you will not have iman until, what? You love each other. And then he told, how can you love each other? By spreading salam. Saying assalamu alaikum. A simple salam does wonders. And this is like such a beautiful embodiment of our brotherhood, sisterhood. You can come to a masjid. And it doesn't matter, like suppose, I don't know who you're famous, I mean we have a superstar, Hani Mukhtar, right, uh, soccer MVP candidate, and he comes to ICN and 12 South all the time. But the cool thing is, no one has to feel like, oh that's a superstar, how do I approach him? He's just like anyone else. That's the brotherhood we have in our masajids, and we need to ensure that it's there by giving salam, not to get into cliques, only give salam to those we know but not to those we know. We should be looking out for the strangers, the newcomers, when they come to the masjid, reach out to them. That is the culture inside our masajids that we have to work hard towards. And the same thing applies to the sisters. And the first thing when the brother or sister comes, is, or the new shahada, it's not like, you know, you're not wearing, your hijab is incorrect. Oh, your wudu is incorrect. You know, you're wearing shorts, you know, whatever, or it's too, not it's far enough. Let's build a relationship. You know, this is the, the brotherhood is based on this relationship and it's based on our, our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Malcolm X, you know, with all the racism, the, the civil rights movement that was taking place in the 60s. Read the autobiography of Malcolm X. What his change when he went to Hajj. And I don't have that quote here, but basically he was saying people of all colors from black-skinned uh, Africans to, um, you know, blonde-eyed blue folks, they were just embracing him. You know, he'd never seen that in the United States. And that's the beauty of our religion, but we have to maintain it. We have to express it. We have to create that culture and maintain that culture. So be mindful of the new person. When there are three people, Prophet ﷺ told what? You know, be mindful of not speaking in, in, in uh, pairs because that third person may feel left out. There's so many things uh, that um, Prophet Sallallahu said. And uh, so that's some of the things. Of course, our duties towards each other as Muslims. Uh, of course, he said, when you meet him, the six, it's, uh, six duties, when you meet him, you give him greetings of peace. When he invites you, respond to his invitation. When he seeks your advice, advise him. When he sneezes and praises Allah, supplicate for mercy upon him. When he becomes ill, visit him, and when he f dies, follow him. We're bombarded these days, you know, social media, everything, there's l mental illness, it's a real thing. You know, get counseling. Sometimes you come to a masjid and a simple smile, a simple peace. When you're going through anxiety, what are you looking for? You want to get out of it and be pe in a state of peace. And that's what our religion is about, right? Peace, salam, we talk about it. And we have that beautiful greetings of assalamu alaikum 
We're, we're asking Allah to give you peace. And it should come from our heart. So there are other things I want to address real quickly. Uh, you know, about the Muslims, um, our brotherhood is to display character, it's positive speaking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa kulli ibadi akulu latihi ahsan, inna shaytana yanzagu baynahum, inna shaytana kana lil insani aduwan mubina. Say to my servants that they should say only those things that are best, for shaytan tries to discord, uh, be, create enmity amongst you. He's your enemy, a clear enemy, shaytan. Not each other. Sometimes we treat each other like shaitan when we get into, unfortunately, in the, you know, in the heat of things, right? Why are we treating each other as shaitan? Shaitan's our enemy. Let's be careful of the words we say. You can, we can say something, and we can say two different ways, and the harm is right away, the division's there. And we can say one politely, just in a gentle manner. So be mindful, there's how we speak to each other. Because that person, you know, then that could break the relationship. And how we smile at each other, how we greet each other with salam, that might be the thing that, that the brother or sister who is going through so much anxiety, someone may have just lost their job, someone may have just lost a loved one. We don't know what each other is going through. So just a simple salam and say, how are you doing? Inquire about the health. And this is the opportunity inside our masajids that can be created when we have that model of br true brotherhood and sisterhood. And there are many things I would say. I'm just uh, going to end with two quick things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Hujurat, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la yaskar qawmun min qawmin asa an yakunu khayran minhum wa la nisaun min nisain asa an yakunna khayran minhunna wa la talmizu anfusakum wa la tanabazu bil alqab Allah SWT said, and I'm going to rush through this, that do not, basically do not make fun of, do not laugh at one another. So sometimes we think, oh that Muslim or that person, hey, he's not cool, not to up to standards. We make fun of their mistakes. Allah SWT said not to do that. You know, that's anti-bullying ayat, I like to say. We have it all here, the solutions. He said that do not defame one another, do not insult each other by calling them offensive nicknames. So beautiful. These are the ingredients to create a true brotherhood, sisterhood in our religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then goes on, I'll leave out the Arabic for time. Do not backbite one another. Do not speak ill about one another. Would you like to eat the flesh of your dead brother? You would abhor it. You know, just why speak ill of each other? If we have nothing good to say, keep silent, as Prophet Islam said. And so there are many issues, ways that we can instill a strong model of brotherhood. And finally, I'll end with forgiving. So the third, fourth thing, besides character, how we deal with each other, the fourth thing is forgiveness. And it's so important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا سَيِّئَةُ إِتْفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدُوَةً كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ Repel evil with what is better, then you'll find he between you and whom was enmity, hatred, will become your close friend. If you have bad relationships, you know how to solve it? Forgive. You want to solve something? Forgive. It's a formula. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said that person that you have problems with will become your close friend. I've seen that. It's real. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Forgive and overlook. Do you not want Allah to forgive you and overlook? Your sins, we made, I make you know, millions of mistakes. But if, I'm not, if I expect Allah to forgive me, I have to forgive, you know, we have to forgive each other. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build this bond of brotherhood. Two things that suggestions I said, get to know each other, right? Uh, watch about the words we say towards each other and watch our char character, the wor uh, how we treat each other and then finally forgive each other. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Muhammad Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lah wa ashadu ana Muhammadan abdu rasulullah There's more I would have said but uh, to maintain time I just want to tie this all in These masajids, mashallah, you know we're looking for shades in the day of judgment Two of the things we can really uh, absorb or benefit from in these masajids 
What of one of them? Those whose hearts are attached to the masjid. Those who love each other. Two people, they love each other for the sake of Allah. What better place we can establish that in these masajids? Brothers and sisters, you know, make this the masajids your top, the center of your activities. That's how the Prophet ﷺ, the first thing he would establish the masjid. We have membership. Some people wonder, why do we have membership to masjid? These are the way that non-profits, these, uh, how we operate. You know, we have uh, bylaws and this is the way of operations. It's very easy. You know, if you're donating uh, direct deposit $10 a month, you're a member. Please consider, regardless of membership, you know, do your little part. Churches, 10% they give. They're so dedicated. I know we have dedicated members here. $10 a month. But right now, with the new constitution that passed, we extended it until tomorrow deadline. $10 per person regardless. If you haven't been a member, be a member. If you didn't have $10, $1, if you uh, uh, volunteered your time, get a, get a letter from the president, Brother Munir, here. But be a member, be engaged. Just like we say politically, be engaged. Your vote counts, your vote counts, and be, be on the boards. Our board now structure, there are two sister allocations. There's a youth. The, strong, the stronger, the more diverse we are as a community, and our boards reflect that, the stronger we are. And that ties into the brother and sisterhood. There's a dinner tonight, so fill out the membership. If you were a member before, your spouse wasn't. If you're already a member, you can add your spouse. Fill out a form regardless if you're a member or not before, because we didn't have proper membership records. We had do uh, donation records. So fill it out, takes two minutes online. See Brother Khalid or any of the uh, officials here. There's a dinner tonight. Again, expanding our brotherhood. Come for the dinner. Bring your spouses. It's at Maghrib time. Sheikh Omar is going to give a halakha and there'll be dinner. Uh, weekend school, uh, September 10th. Get information will start. Get your kids engaged. Uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama salaita ala Ibrahim ala ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanata wa fil akhirati hasanata wa kina adhaab an nar Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Ghafuru Rahim Forgive us all our sins, our shortcomings Let our hearts be clear of any grudge towards each other and establish a strong brotherhood sister in these masajids amongst our Muslim community and forgive us for all our sins and all those who have passed away. I had a cousin who passed away last week, Ganam Jannatul Firdaus, and all of our relatives. Subhana Rabbi Karabil Ezzat Yama Yasifuna Salam and Alam Rasalin Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen in Allah Yamuru Bil Adri Wa Sani Wa Idahi Dil Kurba Wa Yanhani Al Fashai Wal Munkari Wal Bagi Aidu Kumla Allah Kum Tada Kurun Akim Salah. As to keep the line straight and let's pray with Kushu and pray as though we're seeing Allah or at least knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing us and be mindful in our prayers. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawm Al-Din. Iyaka Na'abud wa Iyaka Nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين والذين تبوؤوا الدار والايمان من قبلهم يحبون من هاجر اليهم ولا يجدون في صدورهم ولا يجدون في صدورهم حاجة مما أوتوا ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولا كان بهم خصاصة ومن يوك شح نفسه فأولئك هم المفلحون 
والذين والذين جاء والذين يقولون ربنا اغفر لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم Allahu liman hamidah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'abudu wa Iyaka nasta'een Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqeem Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim Ghayri al-makdubi alayhim Waladdallin Amin Kul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ahad Allahu akbar Sami Liman Hamidah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar
was getting one thirty, but now it's about five thirty. They have to be smooth. So these are been quite good. I'm going to invite them for dinner. I'm going to invite them for dinner. Thank you. 